Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Before right before the great mystery. A horrible mystery awaits. You look back in time and in history, right before when all the Jews were rounded up and taken away for slaughter. Everyone was in their houses, homes, doing what they normally did. You know, and that's why we talk, when the scripture talks about everything carries on like it always was. And how, as it always has been and will be during the last times, the end of times. The final hour before all everything else kind of broke out. The earth was the, right before the earth is deteriorated. Enoch talks about this as well. Everyone's so used to hearing the same message over and over and over. They're ready for something new. Too many are going to fall into the pit. Too many, most of us are going to be rounded up and taken away. All of us. I don't think people see it coming. If they do, they're in their own world. They can't read through lines anymore. They can't read through anything. No one concerned to... Uh, that's why I, I believe, honestly, when it talks about discernment being a gift. Because, especially in the end, end of days... Our minds are so conditioned and dumbed down that discernment would seem as like a gift because that is a gift within a human being being capable of that. That's why it's a gift because your capability of doing that. Because in the old world that was probably more of a common sense thing to do would be to discern it was more built into their intuition and their nervous systems being human but now see a long time ago they didn't have entertainment everything we do have now but now since people are more dumbed down and stupefied they're uh we are more dumbed down and our nervous system our immune system is is dumbed down as well that's why we have more anxiety now skyrocket like never before depression all this stuff because we're so dumbed down and it's going into our conditioning because we're so dumbed down all the conditioning that we accept everything basically and we don't realize we accept and everything thus you create a stupid society and everything that's why all these certain things in the bible they say is a gift like discernment and all this other stuff The key people that don't even know the Lord that could carry discernment are like business people. Higher minds, higher fast-paced thinkers in our world, in our society. But these people don't even know who the Creator really is. But right before the Jews were rounded up in the Holocaust, everything continued on as it was before, like normal and still happening and it will happen until white vans show up whatever trucks whatever to round everyone up split pan families apart and take children away from families and you watch it because it's coming sooner than people realize it's conditioning you you see it through these tv shows the walking dead hunger games and all this other stuff but people don't pick up on it i've told my family this and they don't see it they think it's funny. Well, wait, watch, but know this, that 
it's all it's all too real. Enoch is real as well. Everything that is not preconceived is preconceived already spiritually, and everything that is preconceived. Everything that's not preconceived physically is, I don't know, like, not preconceived is preconceived. Everything that's preconceived is not preconceived, basically. As in the physical realm and the spiritual realm, like, go hand in hand. Everything almost basically comes together and touches one another, but yet everything is still so unseen because it is so undiscerned because most people don't have the ability to discern anymore because that's why it's it's a gift because the old world and the new world as in the bible times biblical times when the old prophets lived versus now we're so dumbed down that that's why discernment is such a gift basically it is a gift because everyone's so dumbed down that they can't everything that you try to show them that they're trying to preconceive is not preconceived unless you have the ability to read through things to discern to read through the lines read through things The end, God will show. Everything will show at the final judgment. At the white throne judgment. One side will be the people that were not saved on one side, and the other side will be the people that are saved, that have and bear fruit, that have a whole branch of fruit, and the others. It's just like this one guy's dream. He's a pastor. He's he's an African pastor, and he was saying that the people that were not chosen by God he saw seeds in their spirits, and these seeds were supposed to produce that fruit, but th- since these people didn't know the Lord, they were carnal Christians, or they were just not, basically not saved, they never produced anything, and basically they were thrown out into, uh, into darkness, eternal darkness. The seeds represented what was supposed to be vines coming out to produce that fruit, and they were, there was nothing there, and they were not, they never knew who the creator was they never had the encounter maybe these people were were, didn't even believe they were atheists which most people fall in the line of atheism now carnal Christians are like atheists too they don't believe you know they're so confused with the scriptures because they confuse action within your faith with works of salvation but it's totally the opposite you can easily discern through that know this that that rounding up is coming you will be rounded up you will be taken away and don't say that real believers are not going to have trials and have to go through things on this earth before the second coming because certain things will fall in place and the creator is so much more smarter than we are we are not smarter than he is he'll come through and he'll have the final say through through everything through this entire universe this world because when the end when he comes I believe it's going to be like a voice his voice is going to go out saying I'm coming coming now or his voice is going to be echoed through the universe of the earth through every throughout the entire universe when the fire comes and nothing will be able to hide from that voice that's going to be transformed into something that's physical during world war three the great apostate the great blasphemer steps onto the throne and blasphemes his name one last time before his coming. Right when the bodies go in or getting murdered and slaughtered all the way up to a horse's mane, just like it says in Revelation, a horse's garment on that white horse. Right in the center of Euphrates, 
get him ready for the kings, uh, the kings of every army throughout the earth, getting ready to go to battle for Armageddon. Body slung up all the way up to a horse's garment, all the way up to a horse's mane. Bloodshed and violence will be shed, just like in Isaiah. Everything will come to pass. God bless, Godspeed, fire and ice, out.